Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube game community? What is Mr. 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 Thank you, here. Welcome to a tutorial on how to overclock your graphics card without using Catalyst Control Center. Now, I can't tell you how many times I've got messages or comments saying that the performance tab doesn't come up, the CPU power doesn't come up, the overdrive doesn't come up. Like, all this doesn't really come up, and I'm going to make a video on how to fix that. But number one is uh, not that's number one. Number two is to overclock your graphics card without actually using the Catalyst Control Center. So ho hopefully this will solve a few people's problems as I've had in the bat as I had in the past. Uh, but again, uh, overclocking can cause problems to your computer. So please do not blame me if something goes wrong. Again, if you follow the steps properly and you listen to me, there shouldn't be any problems. Now. When you go into your Catalyst Control Center, you're, you should have the Performance tab. If you do not have the Performance tab, your drivers may be outdated, so I recommend you check those. But if you do have the Performance tab and you only have these two options, you go into AMD Overdrive and make sure these are enabled. If they are not, these will not show up, so you got to make sure these are enabled. If not, then go into Configure and, and play around with it. Uh, search other videos on YouTube because I'm not really too sure why. But another reason why is you could have an a NVIDIA graphics card or you could have an Intel processor, which kind of defeats the purpose. Um, but anyway, yes, that should be able to fix it. If you guys don't, if that doesn't help, then I recommend uh, checking out other YouTube videos for that. Now, how to overclock your graphics card without actually using the Catalyst Control Center. So the Catalyst Control Center, you just go into the Performance tab, a Graphics Overdrive, and you do it all there. Basically, what you want to do is download a program called MSI Afterburner. It's virus-free, malware-free as far as I'm concerned. Um, it, it's virus-free. Uh, my antivirus didn't pick it up, so it should be good. Now, just type in MSI Afterburner, and then it should be right on the top one. And then you got four options here. Just go ahead. Is that four? Yeah, go ahead and click the first one, which is the official one, and run through the setup. And then when you're done it should look like something like this so it should look some among those lines it tells you all of your spec specifications on this window here you can also detach it if you want to and you can move it around but basically um, I find this one a lot better than the Catalyst Control Center because it has a lot more options you're able to save your your um, you're able to save your uh, options that you choose you're able to apply the overclocking on system startup so in general I, th I find it better to use this it's more of like an aftermarket kind of uh, overclocker but yeah so and when you hover over the tabs it gives you a brief description I guess not that one on what each one does so if you hover over it tells you like adjust the CPU power limit so this is very helpful in Catalyst Control Center it does not do this so basically like I said in my last video make sure you up your power by a little bit it doesn't have to be the max but just by a little bit and the core clock should go up just a little bit and then you want to go up by a thousand megahertz every time uh, not a thousand a hundred my bad a thousand megahertz a uh, hundred megahertz my god you learn from your mistakes right so you go up by a hundred megahertz every time and you should notice a, a performance increase in your game um, so if when you per when you look at and you checked it and the game is running good because you overclocked by a little bit then leave it don't touch it anymore leave it and you can save it which I would highly recommend um, <clears throat> profile one that's okay profile one save so you can choose different profiles so yeah do not do this like I told you in the last video do not do not do not do not do that it will screw up your computer now that's just about it for overclocking um, if you guys have any questions or concerns please uh, leave them in the comments section or you can uh, add me on Skype or not add me well if you want to and message uh, me about that if there's any problems so if yep, that's about it and thank you for watching